And here's today's lunch. This is what I'm going to be cooking. Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking an omelette with some other things that I found in the fridge. So let's begin. Right, so let's turn this heat on. I'm going to turn it up to number seven and I'll add some olive oil. About three tablespoons and we'll let that heat up. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to add my sliced garlic, the onion, which is sliced also, red pepper and green pepper, and the chorizo, which I've, it's one chorizo, and I've cubed it up, little cubes. There's no set amount, you can add as much or as less as you like. I'm also going to add some cayenne peppers as I like it hot. So these three should be enough. And some black pepper, black multicolored pepper. and salt to my own liking. And finally, a sprinkle of paprika. It can be spicy, or it can be just the smoked one, the sweet one. We'll turn this back to five one. And basically this, I'm gonna fry it until it's all nice and soft and the chorizo has shed its juices. So we'll give this a mix about every now and then so it gets cooked on all sides. And in the meantime, I'm going to crack my three eggs here. I'll just add a bit of salt and also about half a cup of milk, roughly. And I'll give this a good beating. So once everything is nicely cooked, I'll turn the heat down to number five, so medium, and I'll add the filling to the egg, including the olive oil. And this, I'm going to be eating it today with chips and baked beans. That sounds good. What would you eat this with? Let me know in the comments. So we'll put this back on the stove as it is and we'll give this a mix. Lovely colour with the chorizo juice and the paprika. Don't you think so? And now we'll add it to the frying pan. Let's even it out a bit. And I'm going to turn it up to medium high, number seven. And we'll just leave it there to cook. So 
So once you see that the edges are done, just do what I did, so that the egg gets cooked. Okay, so once there's no egg to move to the edges like I'm doing, it's going to be time to turn it over, isn't it? And no, I'm not going to turn it over like that, because I don't know how to. I'm not that confident with it. So don't leave any stupid comments saying that I don't know how to turn an omelette over. So this is what I'm going to do, let's see, probably won't come out right, but, nah, nah, it's messed up, isn't it? Wait, look at that. Messed up omelette. Who cares? So I'm going to add some, some cheese over it, grated cheese. Check it all in. Obviously, as much or as less as you like. Let's cook this for a couple of minutes and then I'll fold it. Right, I think it's cooked enough on that side, so I'm just gonna flip it over, try to anyway, so I can put it on the plate, you know. That'll do didn't turn out as perfect as I would have liked to but never mind let's chuck it on here and that's much sorted well I hope that you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and see you soon.